Do you know the real way to eat sushi? Here's a simple explanation. Nathan Baker loves Japanese food. He's making a trip to Japan and looking forward to introducing his family to real sushi. But how should you behave in an authentic Japanese sushi restaurant? What should he do? Nathan's friend Toku is quite a gourmet. When it comes to sushi, Toku is the man to ask. First, some history. The origins of sushi go back to 7th century Japan. People found that mixing fish with salt and rice and leaving it to pickle produced a fermented dish they called narezushi. By the 17th century, the use of vinegar to prevent fish spoiling had become widespread. Sushi could now evolve. In 19th century Edo, the old name for Tokyo, a food stall vendor called Hanaya Yohei invented a new kind of sushi by pressing seafood and wasabi onto vinegared rice. It was a huge hit. This hand-pressed nigiri sushi would become the most popular kind, making sushi famous worldwide. And now, let's meet a real sushi chef. He takes a slab of vinegared rice, called shari, tops it with wasabi and seafood, and presses it all into shape with his hands. He might serve kohada, or gizzard shad, marinated in vinegar, magado, or bluefin tuna, eaten raw, and cooked anago, or conga eel. But there are hundreds of other varieties, many only available at certain times of the year. At last, the bakers are about to enjoy sushi the authentic way. Eat sushi with your fingers as soon as it's given to you, before the fish becomes dry. Don't put ginger on your sushi. That's just for freshening your palate. It's bad manners to take the topping off the rice and dip it in soy sauce. Instead, turn the sushi on its side and gently dip the topping in the sauce. Now the bakers are real sushi experts. They really want to try all the different kinds of sushi. Off they set on a sushi trip around Japan.